Well, hello and welcome to Blue Garden Cottage again. It's lovely to have you with us. Today, excuse all the busyness going around me here on all the shelves in the craft studio, the workshop. It's a bit busy, there's lots going on. And I thought I'd just show you what we've been doing craft wise first under the veranda and then back in here. I'll be back with you in a second. We'll be back in here to chat in a mo. This far, we have got the outside painted and some of the inside as well for an undercoat. As you can see, um, it's not fully assembled yet because Show you this. This is the floor. The wall, the bottom floor wall goes here. And I've left it open because I need to decorate the walls before I put the next floor on. And this wall is attached to the upper floor. So I um I'll decorate the wall separately decorate those walls then I'll decorate that side and the other wall and then um, I've marked where the floor goes that the sorry the wall dividing wall and then we're going to put the flooring on which is going to be these tongue depressor type sticks we're going to make flooring out of them we'll cut the rounded edges off and make floorboards out of them there's some really nice grain in them so that will look nice as flooring or might stain it to look a darker old floor um, and then we'll put the next floor on and do the same thing there with the decoration of the walls and then put the dividing wall and the next floor up for the attic floor so that's what I'm going to be doing. It's easier just to do it that way because if you put the walls and the floors in, it's really awkward to get in and decorate in that small space. But I'm excited to be getting on with that. Yeah, I have used a wallpaper, a lovely embossed wallpaper for the inside of the ceiling. And I've put it on the, the underneath of the floors as well for the downstairs ceiling. Those are the holes where the, the dividing wall goes. Um, so this is for the ceiling as well. So this is that done. The ceilings, both ceilings, both floor ceilings are done. And then when I've got all the walls decorated and in, the floors in, then we'll put the doors on. And this time, instead of these ridiculous small hinges there's I know there's three of them there was originally but they're just not strong enough I did tell you that and I got these really long brass hinges they will go in instead and they will take a lot more weight so it will be more sturdy for the doors they shouldn't bend so easily have also put the, wall, the wallpaper on the inside of the dormer windows. we still got to finish the inside of the walls. Um, one mistake I made when I put the, the wallpaper on the inside is I used the spray adhesive. And it got around the other side and onto here. It bled, through, bled around. Um, so I couldn't get it off. This is the best I could do. So what I'll do instead is I'll put some window boxes there. Um, with flowers in because that just can't be removed and I can't repaint it because it won't go on to, the paint won't stick I've got as much as the the glue off it's now smooth but it has left markings so I'm going to have to decorate that I can paint some nice pretty little swirls decorated patterns up there window boxes there I have to tidy up around the edges of the windows put in curtain pole and curtain on the inside there and that will get fixed permanently to the roof and then I will put pretty beading for a lovely edging on the edges of all 
the pieces that are showing. And on these edges here, if you've ever seen Georgian houses, they have these corner edging bricks, a long one and a short one as it goes around that side, matching the other side. So we are going to be putting the bricks on the corners of the building as well. And it's very expensive to buy. So we bought, because we couldn't find anything else, we bought cork board. Because I can't find the craft foam and I couldn't afford it. It's just forking out more and more and more money. So I bought a cork board. We're going to cut up into bricks to edge all the corners of the building to make it look more like an original Georgian house. So lots more tidying up yet to do. Lots of finishing and decorating, but it's getting to the exciting part now. I love the decoration. It's quite exciting to get on with that, isn't it? Can't wait for that. And I'm going to put panelling on the bottom half of the walls and then the wallpaper. Yeah, I've ordered the wallpaper. It should be with us at the weekend. Panelling on the bottom. Because the wallpaper can work out quite expensive as well. Even if it's like £3 a sheet and you need at least two or three of them. And that's quite a big space because they're only just over A4 size the sheets so you need quite a bit of it really so if I panel the bottom and you keep the wallpaper for the top then it should cost less money but I also found these wooden strips I think they're bamboo I'm going to paint them white and use them because they're the right scale really to make the edgings of all the panelling on the on the bottom half of the wall so I'll paint that and then the wallpaper will go on the top I'm not sure what color I'll paint it'll have to match the wallpaper so whatever color scheme of the top wallpaper is going to be the paint will be uh, the same color will be matching on the panel in so that's exciting I've also got on the list in the shopping basket and the website I've got some touch battery operated lights led touch lights for wall lights and ceiling lights and that's on the list to get so that there's going to be actual light in the doll's house but it will unfortunately be battery operated i'm not going to start with electrics yet we're still new to this um for the oh hang on let me put that in there for now the inside dividing walls which are also going to have the panel in and then wallpaper the frame here that was made is going to be painted white around the edge the door I might leave natural but I might paint some little either pretty paintings on it or make paneling on the door we'll get jewelry hinges, hinges because they go inside the frame of the door ornate jewelry hinges for the hinges to show and then we'll have inside arch doors that's going to be really nice so that's for that so they will be decorated before they go in it's so much easier to decorate the walls before they go in um, I need to order more stairs they need to be decorated um, these ones do not have handrails so I might just buy two new ones for handrails and keep this as a spare that's going to be another how much there are 23 26 about 28 pounds for two new staircases or well, you know for two of them will cost that much not each otherwise i wouldn't bother but it's easier because it's quite a lot of cutting and and getting the wood and there's it's just easier and better to buy them ready made and then I will also get some um, flower pots with plants. You can get half urns with um, buxus type plants. You can stick straight on the wall. And there's flower pots in there with ivy climbing up and window baskets and all sorts can go on. And I've already ordered some ivy and evergreen leaf um, garlands to make climbing plants out of. So that'll be really pretty. The roof, actually, because the roof tiles are so damaged from all the wear and tear over the years, um, it's pretty horrible. So I'm going to gently sand them 
to key them, repaint it, and I will add in some extra details like I do with when, when I paint the wooden ornaments and put in the shadows to make accents of the of the roof tiles and bring them out a bit more. So that will be nice. We're also going to change the roof hinges because these were the hinges for the roof. Not very good. So we're also going to change them for the long ones, longer than these two. You can get them. I'll get another hinge for the length of the roof and then that will be a more sturdy hinge for the roof. I'm back in the workshop lovely to be sitting in here again oh i've missed it so much i have still the sleighs to be getting on with i still have wonderful ideas for those sleighs and make them look really gorgeous and we've had a little earlier in the year before he got sick he made some little carts for me to decorate those and he also just this week has made Hang on, just hold your horses. He also has made me some standing male and female nutcracker soldiers to fairly large ones to stand on the mantle or on a windowsill if you don't have a mantle. I like this one particularly. It's got feathers on the top of her head and he's still going to make some little um, hair buns to stick on for the back for the hair tied up they're gonna look so smart and i asked him to make me female nutcrackers because i was inspired by um that movie nutcracker in the four realms i can't wait to paint them so that's what we've been doing craft wise recently so we've got a lot to be getting on with um, also some of the flowers that I got that fake flowers obviously they can't be real flowers for the dolls houses but I found sprays of flowers and different colors yellows purples pinks and some of these and I've got some of the moss so I can make window boxes and gardens around the edges of the doll's house walls and of course on the dormer and then I found I mean we've been adding to um, all the little bits and pieces that go into the doll's house anyway I've ordered a beautiful ceramic um, bathroom it's probably more Victorian than anything else but it's a beautiful ceramic bathroom set um, that will go lovely in there I found some of these decorations the wooden ones I will use these to make to paint and put mirrors behind so there'll be mirrors in the house and these I will glue and attach in corners of the rooms by the edges of the walls I think that would be nice could even use them to make a kind of shelf somewhere, can't I? I'll see. But they're a bit big though. But the mirror is a perfect size for the um for the, the, the frames are the perfect size for mirrors. I've also got some doll's house picture frames. And I've got all sorts of bits collecting as we go. And do the old doll's houses are something we do together anyway. We, we we have more interactive work together. Instead of him just making the wooden crafts and passing it to me to do all the finishing, we actually get to work together on the doll's houses, which is really nice. I love working with him. It's really nice to do that. So yeah, I'm enjoying that bit. So I'm quite excited. I can't wait to show you the progress as we're going on. We have to really get a move on now because there's obviously a lot of other stuff I need to do as well. So we plan on having the doll's house completely finished by the end of October. And I have found, so we've got two others. My, my granddaughter's not really playing with the Lunby doll's house, but she loves the other one, the pink one. I'm sure I showed you the pink one. Um, she loves that one and plays with it all the time. So we're going to give that to her and swap with her. So we'll take the Lunby doll's house and we're going to decorate that one to the hilt to sell that one um, 
because she loves the, the, the pink one. So she's playing with that all the time, which is great. And then the other one we'll put away. So we have got this one, the Tudor one, the Lundby one. Um, we've got another one we found that was fly tipped and the council cleared it up and put it in a lorry. And those are passing us in the supermarket. Hubby goes, oh, there's a broken up doll's house in that lorry. So he went and asked the council worker if he could have it because it's all broken in. There was no roof for it and it needs quite a lot of work, but it's something we can do because we know how. So we had that, a skip find again. I'm in the skips, aren't I? So in the back of a uh, council lorry because somebody fly tipped a whole bunch of stuff and the doll's house was in between it. So that was a lucky find. And it's practically the same make as the pink one that I showed you last time. And then today I go and collect another two more dolls' houses that we found on Facebook Marketplace. So we are we have five dolls' houses. So that'll keep us going until early, you know, Easter, springtime next year. So that'll keep us going for a long time as far as those go. Um, that'll be interesting because I'm making the dolls' houses like they're normal dolls' houses, but I'm also going to be making the Christmas decorations for the dolls' houses so they can like have seasonal changes and I'll make a box that they could take out the stuff that they're swapping for the seasonal changes, whether that's Easter or Christmas or whatever, and all the Christmas lights can come off so that they can be put away because you can get Christmas lights for dolls' houses. And wreaths and garlands and all sorts of stuff and you can make amazing Christmassy stuff as well and oh my goodness I've been down the miniaturist websites for all the dolls house stuff for the miniatures and it is so amazing the amount of things you can get and all the little food and the little everyday bits that make it look like real houses and I'm thinking some stuff I can copy and make myself easily with a paper clay or the porcelain clay porcelain cold porcelain sorry some stuff I can make myself and it would save a lot of money and time waiting for stuff to be po posted because they can be quite dear. When you add everything up, I can understand why fully furnished dolls' houses cost so much money. Because it costs so much money to put them together. But I suppose it's nice for somebody if, if they like dolls' houses but don't want all the work and the hassle of putting things together to buy them already done up or if they commission something if they want a specific kind of dollhouse or a specific kind of decor patterns and colors and what have you then you can buy them already done up it's much easier for them just to buy them done I suppose so I'm hoping there's enough people that are miniaturists out there that love these things and would just happily buy them already done so not the best strategy I know but I like doing them up we can get them get the dolls houses and I think that's a more environmentally friendly way of doing stuff anyway is making stuff second hand or buying second hand dolls houses to do them up and then seeing what kind of things we can make ourselves rather than buying them because obviously all the bought stuff probably isn't made out of very eco-friendly stuff and if I'm recycling a lot of items and fabrics and just little things like thimbles into plant pots, you know. Little vases. That would be so cute. Medicine cups, you know, the liquid medicine cups decorated and turned into lampshades. That kind of thing. I've already used sponges, um, fake sponges, obviously, um, to make mattresses for, for my granddaughter's doll's house but I will use wadding instead oh when we took down we took that bed apart the single bed apart and there was a huge a big piece of wadding nice thickish piece of wadding so I'll use that to make settee cushions and I'll make my own settees because they are very expensive to buy and I know I can make my own um, bedding and curtains and Oh, there are some gorgeous beds. I'm not going to make the beds because I want those gorgeous beds that I've seen. They have got all this beautiful, dainty, filigree metal work that looks like a metal bedstead. <sighs> yeah. Lost on me, isn't it? But I think even those, if I were creative enough and had more time, then I could make those because I'm sure I can. I used to, I had in the past, my mum, when I was a kid, my mum 
had a friend who made a living like chairs and a little table out of uh, dr fizzy drink cans I think it was cola cans and they cut them into hundreds of strips and then scrolled them all up to make ornate patterns and to make these fancy little chairs and tables out of cold drink cans and I think I can do the same with all sorts of different materials let me see but there you are that's the total craft update I could keep talking for ages and ages and ages talking about crafts indoors I've been working on my camera board on budgeting as usual tidying up clearing out it's all go still very busy and i have been um oh buttons went for her grooming yesterday oh my gosh she really needed a grooming and there's no way i could do it because if we try to groom buttons the hair goes up on the ceiling so we gave up grooming her in the house um we used to she hates a bath absolutely hates it so we used to put her with her lead on the wash pole and give her a bath with a big bucket of nice warm soapy water, uh, shampoo water and just put it all over her, shampoo her up and rinse her off and then she was fine but then she'd run around the garden like a Tasmanian devil, you know Taz the Tasmanian devil cartoon character like that, the whirlwind uh, she would just run around the garden like that and there's of course there's no way for her to do that and she's getting too old to run around like that anyway so yes the groomers it had to be and oh, it's so expensive oh my gosh yeah i think we'll keep that to twice a year and just wash her ourselves in between but not in the winter because obviously that's outside so i won't do it not indoors because she's part german shepherd the hair just goes everywhere but yeah craft wise that's what we've been doing that's where we're going i cannot wait to do a great deal more so I'm excited to do that. And I shall let you know how we get on with that. All busy. As to the what's coming up that I've been so secretive about, I shall tell you a bit more about that next week because that is moving on now nicely. So I'll give you a little bit more next week because next week is the Self-Reliance Week uh, for videos anyway. So I'll show you what we're doing there. There's so much going on. It really is. So to keep up with what's going on here at Blue Garden Cottage, we'll just have to catch up with us next week. Right here on YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you like. Lovely to have you with us next week again. Do comment if you like. Just keep it family friendly. It's all go. Things are afoot. Okay, people. I gotta go. Lots yet to do. Right, folks. Take care. Stay safe. Say wow. And I'll speak to you next week. Bye-bye, all.